The coupling of conservation tillage with overhead mechanized irrigation has the potential to transform traditional production paradigms and lead to higher efficiencies, increased profitability, and greater resource conservation. My name is Armando Galvin. I manage uh, Five Points Ranch. We have a wide variety of crops, cotton, processed tomatoes, processed garlic, processed onions, wheat, alfalfa, alfalfa hay. We're farming about 8,000 acres, and so far we've got about 16 pivots. David, hi, how are you? Good to see you again. Recently, a few innovative farmers, researchers, and private sector partners have begun to design, test, and improve conservation agriculture systems that effectively merge conservation tillage with overhead precision irrigation. I'm Daryl Cordova. Denair, California. Crops uh, that I grow with uh, overhead irrigation are silage for the dairies using uh, forage mix and also corn for silage. We've been using minimum tillage to uh, incorporate our crops and uh, this year with the corn we're going to try the uh, no-till with the no-till planter. In California generally our summer crops are 100 percent irrigation and our winter crops are anywhere from one-third to two-thirds irrigation. Plus our temperatures are so high here that water demand is very significant. So that is a, is a nuance that you have to keep in mind when we're working at conservation tillage. Water is the key to everything. If the water's not there and the water's not right, forget it. But the other thing that we've always done here is we've done tillage in California uh, in order to facilitate this irrigation management. John Diener, a farmer in Five Points, California, is someone who's begun to work on coupling overhead irrigation and conservation tillage technologies. All the tillage we did prior to having pivots was done primarily so we could run water from one end of the field to the other and put it on uniformly. With this practice, we have eliminated the need to have such great uniformity on the soil surface and as such, then we can do more non-tillage type practices that allow us to store more carbon in the soil. We're all looking for more efficiencies on the farm. The growers are able to spend less time in the field and through the fields with equipment. You decrease compaction to the soil. You're able to utilize an overhead irrigation system that allows you to put water on when and where you need it in the field. You can uh, have vary your rates through the field for different soil conditions in a field. And in this case, you're also able to chemigate and fertigate through the irrigation system. One of the things that we see with overhead irrigation systems and the sprinkler packages that we have attached to them is that they're highly uh, uh, efficient systems and they're efficient because they apply water uniformly. If we time this properly with proper irrigation scheduling techniques, we can reduce the amount of water that's applied. This irrigation system is tied into three wells along with a dairy wastewater line. He will save in his fertilizer cost right away. It's going to alleviate a lot of standing wastewater around the dairy also because he's able to pump that water out to the fields. A center pivot irrigation system has basically no standing wastewater in the field and that's critical in California. Our biggest advantage would be water savings and labor savings. We were growing these processed onions conventionally, cost about $1,900 an acre. We usually on conventional we're making 20 tons. We're making 18 tons on the pivot and it's costing us about $1,450 an acre. We don't have any runoff anymore. Uh, it uh, really works out great. It saves us a lot of time. I can come over here, hit a button and walk away from it, whereas I was spending six hours a day with uh, hand moved pipes before. Labor is a dear resource and uh, having the qualified people uh, necessary to accomplish the tasks that we have are getting fewer and farther between. As a consequence, we're going to have to adapt the technology towards mechanical devices as with the irrigation system that we have with the pivot. With this, we have the adaptability to the internet and to movement of this machine. This is an iPhone app for FieldNet, and what I can do is I can control the percentage of how fast I want to go, I can control chemigation, I can control any accessories that I got out there, and it's all right here, easy. I don't have to run to the office, I don't have to run home to my computer, I got it right here on the fly. Time savings, big thing. Overhead mechanized irrigation is currently the most prevalent form of irrigation nationwide, and yet it is currently estimated to be used in less than 1% of California's crop acreage. Our biggest problem when we started out was getting these things stuck, but 
I was able to go down to Washington, go down to Idaho, talk to some of these fellows, what they were doing. So we did have to go out of state, but it looks like it'll be a lot more help locally now. And that's basically what I did is just talking with people and then checking on different units. You know, we talked to Valleys, we talked to a few guys from Ranky, Zomatic, you know, we've talked to all of them. Definitely everybody's been a, a help. In California, we're able to use center pivots on a wide variety of crops, from vegetables, row crops, a lot of forage crops, cotton. You need to understand how your soil takes the water. You've got to maintain wheel tracks, which keeps the system from getting stuck. All of that needs to be done in the first year when the system's in because the grower will learn how and when he needs to irrigate. There have been, as any technology, some learning curve as to getting employees adapted to the, the management of the pivot itself. But on the whole, after a, a minimal amount of time, we've uh, been able to accomplish that. We're not there yet. We're, we're, our, our goal is to make 20 tons. We're at 18 tons right now, but we're working on it. So this is the wave of the future. Additional information about the use of overhead precision irrigation in conservation agriculture systems is available on the Conservation Agriculture Systems Innovation website.